A woman found this bottle on a beach, and inside was an astonishing 132-year-old message. Strolling along a beach with her friend, a woman does a good deed and picks up some rubbish strewn on the sand. In the process, she sees an attractive, antique-looking bottle that she decides to keep. But she has no idea that this random find will soon see her listed in the Guinness Book of Records. Married couple Tanya and Kim Illman are based in the Western Australian town of Lancelin, as well as the nearby city of Perth. Both work at an audio marketing company called Messages on Hold, which Kim founded. The parents of two are also keen photographers and have traveled all over the world with their cameras. On January 21, 2018, Kim, Tanya, their son and his girlfriend, and family friends Grace and Joe Ricciardo were out for a drive. They were crossing a beach near Wedge Island, close of Lancelin, when their car got stuck in the sands. So Tanya and Grace seized the opportunity to take a stroll. Along the way, Tanya thought she'd pick up some trash, at which point she saw a glass bottle. I picked it up thinking it might look nice on display in my home, she subsequently wrote on her husband's blog, KimIllman.com. And when I got back to the car, I handed it to my son's girlfriend, Bree Del Borello. The bottle had no lid, and Del Borello spied what she presumed was a cigarette inside. When she turned the bottle over, however, a rolled-up piece of paper fell out. It was tied up with string and too wet to open without tearing, so she decided to keep it safe until the family were back at the Illman's home where they could dry the note out in an oven. There was a lot of anticipation among the party as to what the message in a bottle might say. Del Borello revealed on the blog, once the paper was dry enough to be handled safely, it was unrolled and examined by the group. The first thing to become obvious was that the object was extremely old. The open scroll measured about 8 inches by 6 inches. The message was in German, which Kim was able to partially translate. We could not see the handwritten ink at that point, but saw a printed message that asked the reader to contact the German consulate when they found the note, Kim told the BBC. Kim was also able to decipher some other information in the note. He read that it had been thrown off a boat for research purposes. The exact date and coordinates were recorded in handwriting. The instructions requested that whoever found the message fill in the exact date and location of its discovery before returning it to the research organization or a German embassy. The next day, when the paper had dried out completely, the handwritten portion of the note was more legible. I could easily make out the day and month, June 12th, but the year was harder to decipher, Kim wrote in his blog. The Illmans were also able to make out the written coordinate numbers, 32.49 south and 105.25 either east or west. Kim was also able to work out that the name of the ship contained the letters AULA. This led him to speculate that the ship's name might have been Paula. And a couple of days after finding the note, the Illman sought help from the Western Australian Museum's Maritime Archaeology Department. The assistant curator of the department, Dr. Ross Anderson, subsequently began his own investigations. Anderson was able to report that the note had been placed in a Dutch gin bottle which dated from the 19th century. As for the ship, he discovered that there was a vessel named Paula in records from 1883. The Paula was a type of sailing ship known as a bark and was built in Hamelwarden, Germany during the 1870s. Her crew took part in research into ocean currents, which they did by dropping off messages in bottles. Over the course of almost 70 years, thousands of these notes were distributed, but so far none of the bottles and just 662 of the papers have been reported found. Incredibly, an archival search in Germany found Paula's original meteorological journal. Anderson told the BBC, and there was an entry for the 12th of June, 1886, made by the captain recording a drift bottle having been thrown overboard. The date and the coordinates correspond exactly with those on the bottle message. In addition, the handwriting in said book matched that in the note. Anderson stated in his report that the bottle had been thrown overboard while the ship was in the southeast of the Indian Ocean. At the time, Paula was traveling to Makassar in modern-day Indonesia from Cardiff, Wales. He estimated that the bottle had probably been adrift for less than a year before it washed up on the beach, where it lay covered in sand until it was discovered. Paper and textile experts at the Western Australian Museum established that the note was most likely written on cheap 19th century paper. After assessing this and other evidence, the German Hydrographic Agency declared that the message in a bottle was genuine. After being jettisoned, it had awaited discovery for a total of 131 years and 223 days. To me, it seems unbelievable that this bottle could have stayed in these dunes without a cap on it, 
with that scroll intact for that many years," Kim said in an interview on Australian radio station 6PR. Anderson's report stated that the bottle's thick glass and narrow mouth might have protected the note. And on March 8, 2018, Guinness World Records named Tanya's discovery as the oldest message in a bottle, beating the previous record by over two decades. This has to be the most remarkable event in my life, Tanya wrote on KimIllman.com. To think that this bottle has not been touched for nearly 132 years and is in perfect condition, despite the elements, beggars belief. Not everyone is a believer, however. Radio host Basil Zempilis aired comments by doubters on 6PR in March of 2018. Zempilis said that some people are especially skeptical of the discovery given Kim's marketing background. Three different people have said, I reckon Kim bought that in his travels overseas, and he brought it back and said, look what we've discovered, he reported. Responding to the comments on Beaumont's 6PR show, Kim said that he understood the skepticism. However, he added, I'd like to suggest I'm a clever guy, but I can't possibly pull the wool over two German national agencies, the WA Museum, the Ricciardos, and my son's girlfriend. The record-breaking message in a bottle is currently on display at the Western Australian Museum, where it will remain for two years. David Templeman, the state's Minister for Culture and the Arts, told the BBC, It's truly an impressive find, and thanks to the wonderful international and interdisciplinary cooperation of science and research, it can now also be shared with the world. Please share this with your friends below.